virtualization seems to be happening everywhere. It's impacting all the different dimensions and the key resources of IT today. What I find interesting about virtual infrastructure software solutions is that while we take for granted the productivity, cost savings, and flexibility advantages, sometimes what we miss is the most obvious one. And that is it's had a huge impact on how we buy and deal with hardware. And the hardware platforms, in effect, have become pretty much irrelevant and secondary to what we're doing to gain the benefits of virtualization. For example, when you deploy VMware, you really don't care if it's running on a Dell, an HP, an IBM, or an Intel server platform. That's a secondary concern. We also take advantage of the business argument that this software endures and that it lives beyond these devices that will change or come and go over time. What's more important is the training investment, the people investment, the process investment that we've made and how we can amortize it over the complete infrastructure over its entire lifetime. So in effect, when we bet on the virtual software layer, like with VMware, what we're doing is investing the people, the productivity, the processes in a way that can be applied across all of the infrastructure. And the hardware and the purchase decisions associated with the hardware level, those are now done independently of this software layer. Well, this is what Data Core does for storage. It insulates the users and applications and the virtual servers and desktops from all of these storage related disruptions and changes that are occurring below. Again, the hardware can come and go. It can evolve, it can advance, it can be changed out. But even if you're not replacing it or rip and replacing all that storage, you gotta recognize that storage is constantly growing, therefore it's expanding. It's undergoing maintenance. The firmware upgrades are gonna happen. It's gonna be refreshed. And every time that occurs, it can lead to disruptions and downtime, which can impact your applications, the machines and the systems above. The data core layer, in effect, that virtualization software for storage, which makes any of the existing storage you have better, well, it's also protecting you from these business disruptions and impacts. It adds the performance and leverages the investments you already have in place, and it allows you to get value from them over the full lifespan of your infrastructure. The bottom line is, we all already know, it makes logical sense to virtualize your servers. Therefore, why aren't we doing the same thing for our storage resources? <laughs>